Let's welcome the weekend. I'm Donna Ruco and you're back on the list. If you're heading to the big tattoo convention in Tampa, you're sure to run into some very colourful people. Jake Peterson has three things to know about around Tampa Bay. At number one, you can see some pretty amazing body art on the show Ink Master. And now you can meet some of these guys in person at the Tattoo Arts Convention this weekend. Ebor tattoo artist Aaron Is is slated to be there. There'll be more than 300 artists from around the country. It's going on through Sunday at the Tampa Convention Center. Number two, there'll be plenty of color on the other side of the bay too. St. Petersburg artists come alive tomorrow night for the second Saturday Art Walk. Fashion photographer Brian James is submitting his Photos Made Mobile exhibit. It's a collection of his Instagram pics. It's a totally different view of my life. So it's like what I see every day. It's real candid, it's real life photos. Where when I'm normally shooting, I'm shooting fashion and I'm shooting headshots. Beer cans, beach chairs, even old motel signs are fair game for this exhibit. Hey, you never know. You might even see a list crew in this collection. At number three, News Flash. Out of 150 cities, Wallet Hub has named Tampa as the best place to retire. Is this big news? That's kind of obvious, right? In other obvious polls, fakemadeuppolls.com ranked Tampa as the number one city to see drunken people dressed as pirates. Obviously, fakerankings.com named Tampa as the most well-known city with the name Tampa. And notarealwebsite.net ranked Tampa as the number one city to see teams called the Bucks play. By the way, the median age in Tampa is only 34 and a half. Just saying. Now you are caught up and clued in around Tampa Bay.